Hello everyone, this is Chartype, and today I'm talking about this week's Sentinel of the Multiverse video game, Oblivion One-Shot. Oblivion is an expansion to the Sentinels of the Multiverse video game that I own, and the weekly one-shot is a weekly challenge in the game. Oblivion is a special game mode, and this is the first weekly one-shot featuring it. I played through it, and I'm going to share my experience, as well as some general tips for playing Oblivion. I ended up playing two games of this one-shot since I lost the first one. I got impatient and neglected to put any defenses up. Since this battle can deal tons of damage at once, this ended up killing me. It's a very unforgiving fight, and one round's mistake can lose the game, so be careful and don't make a dumb mistake like I did. The heroes we get for this one-shot are Guys, Scholar of the Infinite, Skyscraper, and Rogue Agent Nice. This team is fine. I would usually bring five heroes, but this worked. Skyscraper seems fairly powerful, but I haven't played with her much, and I probably wouldn't bring her with this team. Knife is fine, but I wouldn't bring her with Outlaw Commodora for a combo. Scholar is good for his tankiness, and Guy for his damage and infinite combo. More on that later. One unique part of the Oblivion fight is that you can replace heroes when one of yours goes down, as long as Raynek Kelvoss hasn't flipped. In both games, Skyscraper went down, and I replaced her with La Comadora for her combo with Knife and General Utility. Since one of her powers plays... Since one of her powers puts cards from the trash on the bottom of their decks, and Knife Flower plays a card from the bottom of a deck, you can use this combo to pretty much replay anything each round. In my first game, while Comodora and Guys also went down, so I replaced them with the Argent Adept and Captain Cosmic. This seemed to work really well before I messed it up. The second unique element of the Oblivion fight is that you can choose which of the two battle zones to have your heroes in. Personally, I try to keep them all in the same battle zone so that they can affect each other and the tank can protect all of them. There are advantages to keeping some in each battle zone, though, so you can use your own judgment. The third unique element of Oblivion is the mission rewards. These are helpful, but random. Theoretically, you could win without taking any of these, but they make it much easier. I'd say pick up a mission whenever you can, just to get it out of the deck and into your play area. Then swap missions using your best judgment. Oblivion deals a ton of damage very quickly, so having a good tank really helps. For this one shot, the tank we're given is the Scholar. If we didn't have him, any other tank would work, especially Legacy. The Oblivion shield for this scenario is Disintegrating Bastion. This shield requires you to take damage from its effect to get rid of it, and since the only tank we have is an all-or-nothing tank, we more or less need to keep our shields down until it's destroyed. That was very costly for me, but manageable. I ultimately won my second game by activating Guy's infinite damage combo. Then, because his final phase switches zones, I had to finish him next round, and thankfully he didn't play anything too nasty. Guy's combo involves best card ever, where did I leave that, selling out, and retcon. I'll put a link to an explanation of this combo in the description. This is just one way to win, different teams have different strategies. So that's how I completed this Oblivion one-shot. Each weekly one-shot is replaced by a new one at midnight GMT on Tuesday. So there's very approximately 24 hours from the time of this posting to complete it the week it came out and get a fine or better cover. I meant to post this sooner, but stuff happened. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and good luck if you decide to try this yourself. Bye!